This is Louise for MMA Crazy TV and we're here with Neil Siri. Neil, how important is this card for you? Um, it's, it, it's unbelievable, you know, it, it's one of them. Look out there, that's all you have to do is look out there and see like, what you're going to go out there on um, Saturday night and fight out and that. It's unbelievable, streams come through here. And also, how does it feel being part of the Irish come up? Um, there's so much eyes on the Irish at the moment. Um, how does it feel to be a part of that? Um, it, it feels unbelievable, but it puts a lot of pressure on you as well, you know, because everybody's going out, they're winning, you know, try to keep, um, keep the train rolling, as they say, you know, it, it puts some pressure on you, but look, um, we try to have pressure, don't we, so I don't mind. So you're fighting Chris Beale on Saturday, what do you think of him as an opponent for you? Um, I think he's, he's a tough opponent, you know, he's not 10 and 0. 10 and over nothing, he's 2, two and over the UFC, you know, he's coming down to flyweight, he's a big bantamweight, he's coming down to flyweight, he's going to be even bigger bantam or flyweight, so I think he's a tough opponent, but he's a good opponent, you know, he has sort of the skill set of himself, you know, he has good hands, he's good wrestling, he's good jiu-jitsu, you know, so it should make for a great fight. He won a knockout of the year, didn't he, with that flying knee, um, how have you been preparing for his style? I just avoid knees. <laughs> That's all I do. I run when I see a knee coming. No, um, um, no. I just prepare all the set. Always the same. You know, it's not just for the different. Part, you know, it's I prepare myself, not for the fighter. You know, so I just go out there and do what I always do. You know, I put pressure on him. I've got heavy hands. I've got good, uh, good right hands. You know, that can put fighters away. You know, so I'm concentrating on more or less putting him away. I'm not worried about what Chris is gonna do. But if he does see the knee coming, I'm running. And where have you been spending your time uh, preparing for this camp? Um, this I've been, I've been um, spending a lot of time over boxing in Pascal Collins' gym. He's the, he's the brother of Steve Collins, the famous Irish boxer, you know, so he has a boxing gym over in Blanchestown. We venture over there and, and um, spar all the pro boxers over there and I've been in my own club team right now, you know, we have a bunch of killers there. We've got Paul Redman on the card, uh, Lake Hall up, so we've got, we have a really good, good team behind me, you know. So have you made any uh, different changes, obviously, in pre preparation for him? No, I, I, I honestly haven't. I sparred a little bit more boxing. That would, would be about it, you know. I don't really change things up for to try and match other, other fighters the way they come and fight, you know. I just stick to my own game plan and that's the same as always. I try to go out there and knock people out. So I was going to say, how how do you see the fight unfolding then on Saturday? Um, you know, it's hard to know. You know, it, it only get in there and test each other's power and see who has the better chin. We just don't know which way it's going to go. You know, but I'm, I'm, I'm always game for a fight. I'm always really game for a fight. You know, a stand up bar, that's my thing. You want to go on the ground, don't mind either way. But um, one thing's for sure, we're coming away with a win. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.